Hello, I'm Jimmy Doherty, and the food that you see in the supermarket doesn't appear by magic. It's produced on farms like this up and down the country. Now I want to show you some of the amazing methods that we use to produce your food. Now recently there was a worrying survey carried out by LEAF that showed that many of us don't know how our food is grown. But this is where Open Farm Sunday comes in. Not only can you visit a farm, but you can meet the farmer that produces your food. Now I'm going to take this bunch of kids around my farm and teach them a bit about farming. Right guys, you ready for a trip around the farm? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, on the trailer you get, let's go. We're gonna meet Mr. Worm. Right everyone, this is Ian, and he's gonna tell us about one of the most important farm animals around. Okay. What are they, Ian? And what do you think the most important animal is on my farm? Worms. Worms. Yeah. Look. And why do you think these are so important? Uh, Anyone know? I thought they, I thought they yeah. bite. They don't no, bite. don't bite. <laughs> so you imagine that. So these, these worms that live in the soil are coming up and they're what, literally biting chunks, digesting it, and then what? And as it comes out the other end, and that's basically making the thing that helps feed all the plants. So without worms, what do you think would happen without worms? We would get loads of dead leaves all over the floor and like... Dead, dead matter? Yeah, dead matter and that all over the floor and it won't be composted anyway. That's right. And also what the worms do is they help the drainage of the soil. So they make their burrows through the soil. They make Some worms go long ways, don't they? Some go uh, vertically and it helps the soil drain. Right. See, that's incredible. Talking to young people like this, they talk about cows and pigs and chickens maybe on the farms, but, but worms... How many of you would think worms were that important? I didn't realise. <laughs> no, I didn't realise how important they were. So on our farm, we don't have any animals. We, all we have is crops. But these are the animals that we have on our farm. And they're so important. And do you know how many of these you might get to a... What we, we, in an acre of, of a field, an acre is about the size of a football field. How many do you think you might get in an acre? Millions. Well, you, get a, you might get 50,000 in an acre. And they'll move, these little fellas, will move up to 12 tonnes of soil a year. So amazing amounts of soil that they'll move. That's, that's incredible. Cool. Now this is an arable farm, but on my farm, it's all about pigs. Let's go and see them. Come on guys, let's get on the trailer, let's go and see some pigs. Say bye worms. Bye. 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 Well, here, look, these are beautiful pigs. These are Berkshires. Now they're known as the lady pigs, or the, or the ladies pig. Why? Because they were favoured by ladies. They're, they're a pork pig, but they're beautiful. Lovely, dark-coloured pig, four white feet. Now, all these pigs are pedigree pigs. They've got very long pedigree lines. In fact, if these pigs could talk, they probably wouldn't talk to the likes of us. They're that well-bred. Hello, ladies. Hello, 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 hello. This is where they all come to, to then have their babies. So we know when the, we put the boar in, and then we can time exactly when they're going to have the babies. Now, does anyone know the gestation, how long it takes for a pig to give birth? How long the baby's in there for? Six months. Six months, six weeks. Yeah, there's a little rhyme. So it's quite easy to remember once you know. The gestation period, the time it takes for them to have their babies, three months, three weeks, and three days. Near enough. <laughs> Open Farm Sunday isn't just about growing food. There's loads of fun activities to do as well. There's pond dipping, nature trails, and tractor trailer rides. Even if you come to the countryside simply to take a scenic walk or to visit a fantastic farmer's market, you'll go home feeling revitalised and closer to nature.
Come on then, guys. In you go. There's so much to see and do in the country, so why not get down to your nearest participating farm on the 13th of June and discover more about country life. To find out where your nearest farm is, go to www.farmsunday.org.